Right, one more time. One more time. One and a half miles for Matt Crafton and this Thor Sport team. The Toyota out in front. If he can hold on, it would be his sixth Camping World Truck Series win in his 340th start. Down the back straightaway. Crafton just one more set of corners to get through. And the performance tonight has been absolutely dominant. Matt yeah, Crafton is making a statement. If you're going to win a championship, you're going to have to come through me. And the statement has been made. Matt Crafton, Toyota and Thor Sports win at Atlanta Motor Speedway. finally got one here. Just under nine seconds in Atlanta. You heard the crew say it. It's difficult enough to win at this racetrack, but a dominant performance like that, almost unheard of, Todd. Absolutely. And Act like you've done this before. I need that motor for Martinsville. Just park it and get out like a gentleman. <laughs> uh, I'll, do, I'll do a nice one. I can't just completely lay down. You heard Matt Crafton say, I can't just lay down. I got to celebrate a little bit. That he does. But hopefully he saves a little bit of that engine. effort between the driver Eric Jones, the spotter Tony Hirschman, and the crew chief Rudy Fugel. They're giving him his lap times and also how much he's leading by, but at the same time you hear the urgency in the voice of the crew chief Rudy Fugel asking Eric Jones, slow down a little bit, save me a little, get a toe off that truck in front of you. He's starting to shake it. Is he running out of fuel? Eric Jones shaking that truck oh, as he's getting low. Oh, they're out of fuel, Adam. And, and I I just saw Daniel Hemrick come down pit road, an indication that these guys probably don't have enough fuel. There goes Eric Jones to the pit lane. New race leader Tyler Reddick, five laps to go here at Kansas. Reddick started this day in the back of the pack in a backup truck. An amazing performance by that young man. You know Brad Keselowski oh, on the edge of his seat. Reddick's out of gas. There goes Suarez by for the race lead. There'll be two laps to go at the start finish line and Matt Crafton trying to rally from behind. We gotta make it, Daniel. You got to keep that 88 behind you. That's what you got to do. Here's Matt Crafton to the outside. The battle for the race lead is on as they go off a turn two. How about Matt Crafton? Could he be the new fuel mileage king? Crafton on point at Kansas. I don't understand telling Daniel they got to make it. We got to win what we got to do. We'll see the white flag this time around. Crafton at the start finish line. A mile and a half to career win number seven. That's why you got to watch. I all think the Suarez way. is out of gas. Suarez is out of gas. And now Matt Crafton, a half a lap away, he could coast home from here. Nothing out back, Matt. Nothing at all. He's been the Nothing king of the mile and a half in his career. Qualified on the front row, but when it mattered, Matt Crafton going to be out front. Off of turn four, seventh career victory for Crafton going to come at Kansas Speedway. Some days are lucky, some days are good. Thank you guys. Damn good job. <laughs> and you heard Junior Joyner say, good, good job, fuel guys. They make sure they got that thing full. He had enough to get to the end, and everybody he was racing ran out of gas. Start by Suarez. He did a perfect job. He laid back. You heard the spotter call it. And he parlayed it into a nose of an advantage into one. Crouch crafting up the track and then dives to the bottom. Crafton's going to crowd him down the track, try to get him loose down there. Got to watch Johnny Sauter right behind him. So is John West Townley. Look at Daniel Hemrick. He was three wide on the outside with those fresh left side tires. He's coming. Townley trying to make it three wide, looking outside. Crafton trying to nose around. He grabs the top spot as they come off turn four. They'll see the white flag this time by. He's the model of consistency. And when it comes to mile and a half, he's unbeatable. Third win of the year, Crafton does it at Texas. Good. good job, everybody. Problems, huge hit for Kennedy. The 11 up on the safer barrier. Down off the wall it comes to a grinding halt in the middle of the racetrack. I'm okay. I'm okay. See, he's racing on the inside of David Gill, and they make a little bit of contact. You see John West Townley was on the outside. He's going to run right into the side of him and kind of lift that truck up a little bit. Got into the catch fence. For the second week in a row, we've had a vehicle in the catch fence. But again, the catch fence did its job. It kept that truck down on the racetrack, and you see it riding along 
the top of the safer barrier. When they got to turn one, Phil, I think they were three wide, and Ben probably thought that's a difficult angle for the spotters to see as well. And I think the that Ben probably thought, wow, look how close that truck goes comes to going over. Probably thought they were just too wide and he had room to move up a little bit for the corner. That's what it looked like. That was oh. incredible how that truck just grinding along that safer barrier. That's a battery sliding up in the top lane of the racetrack. Let's take a look at it again. You can see that it was Gilliland, John West Townley in the John yellow West, truck. And I think John Gillen was just below John West and maybe Ben Kennedy felt like they were just too wide and had room to, to angle himself for the corner, battling for a spot well inside of the top 10. Look at all that debris. But as you pointed out, Phil, that catch fence doing exactly what it's supposed to do as the axle's just grinding along that safer barrier on the yeah. wall. Green flag is waving, two laps to go at Martinsville. Check one box, perfect start by Crafton. A good exit on turn number two. A great exit by Cameron Haley to take the second spot away from, from Nemechek. And Nemechek pushes Haley out of the way. Here they come out of turn four. White flag in the air. Next flag ends it at Martinsville. Look at Reddick on the inside of Haley. They make contact. How about Cole Custer on the inside? Custer coming through, getting around Reddick for a position. Great battles all over the track on this final lap, but it's all happening behind Matt Crafton coming off a of turn four. Fifth win of the year, gonna come at Martinsville. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 13th to the checkered flag and in the process that led 63 laps. White flag in the air. Next flag will end this one. Damn, in the middle of the racetrack, not taking any chances of flirting with that outside wall. Team has had a remarkable season. Never backed down. Knew there was little hope coming to Homestead to win the championship, but they wanted to make a statement, and they have done just that. Matt Crafton going to lead 93 laps and in dominating fashion get his sixth one of the year, Crafton's first victory at Homestead. You boys, we out style. Thank you. And 15 seconds behind him. Way to put it on him, your champ.